can see I've already set four world records, broke four world records. Um, little kids do come up and they say, oh, you know, you could be my grandma, but I wish my grandma would do it. In a race against the fastest 76-year-old female sprinter in the world, I expected to get walloped, just not by that much. Even more shocking, BJ at age 85 has the fitness of a 20-year-old athlete. As I stared down 50, I realized I wanted way more life. I wanted to enter my 50s in the best shape of my life, fitter than I was as a 20-year-old varsity athlete. Mission Impossible? I worked with a team of experts, immersed myself in aging research, and ran with elite pioneers of the women's running boom to find out the secret to living young and strong into my 90s. I'm a different type. I don't keep records, I don't wear a watch, and I don't have a heart monitor. I never know what's going on. And I just run by the way I feel and feel good and I'll do it. But definitely, I think uh, that being fit does extend your life. If I didn't have a goal, I don't know what I would do because it is just... Yeah. I would go out in any kind of weather. I mean, I, I don't hesitate. If today's a running day, it's snowing, it's blowing, it's raining, whatever. It doesn't make any difference. I'm around here, Dan Little, Ryan or Dan. Okay, the Ryan or Dan Little. The show on the road. Oh, I had an amazing race, and I was actually picking up speed in the last 5K. Rather than hitting the wall, I was gaining speed. I was felt fantastic. 141, a personal fourth by four minutes. Five minutes. So, yay! What's happening in women's running is really phenomenal. I, I don't think I expected in my lifetime to see more women runners than men. So it's never too late to be the athlete you want to be. It's also never too late to get it back.